Well, you guys got another requested video on how to reset your Windows 11 password without any software. Now, someone said they've got a PC and it's the only PC they've got and they've got a password on it and they need to remove it. So to reset your forgotten uh, password on your local account, that's important. It can't be a Microsoft account that you're logged into. It has to be a local account and you can reset it without any software. And I'll show you how. We're going to be using Make your the accessibility uh, feature built into Windows. Make you can see here, this is use. it right here. And we're going to be using this uh, to change over to a command prompt so we can then change our password. And then we can put it back once we're done. So first off, you need to hold the left shift key down and restart your PC. So hold the left shift key down and click on the power button and click on reset here. On the bottom right hand of the screen, you'll see that restarting. During the restart process, continue to hold the uh, left shift key and you should then see the advanced menu options coming up on the screen and you can see here, choose an option. So what we want to do here is now go into the troubleshoot area. So click on troubleshoot and then come down to where it says advanced options. Click on this one and then you should now see command prompt. So click on command prompt and you will then see the command prompt box here. Now, first off, what we need to do is determine where our Windows directory is. So first off, let's locate it first. So I'm going to try and put C colon in here and push enter to see whether this is our Windows directory. Now, normally it is in C, but yours could be in D or it could be in any other uh, letter. It sometimes changes. But in this case, I'm going to try C here. And then we're going to type DIR and then push enter. And you can see there is no Windows directory here. So we know it's not in C. So let's try D, D colon, and then push DIR. And you can now see we do have that Windows directory here, which means we're in the right drive letter. So D is my drive letter. So from here, we need to type in our CD space Windows. And this is going to change our directory to our Windows directory. And now we need to change to our system 32 directory. So let's go CD space system 32. And this will change us to our system 32 directory. So now we're in the right location. We can put in our first command and we're going to be backing up our utilman.exe file. So you can see here, I'm going to rename the utilman.exe to utilman1.exe. This is going to back it up so we can revert back later on. Push enter on your keyboard uh, to commit. And then what we're going to do is do our next command, which is rename ren space cmd.exe space utilman.exe. So we're basically uh, renaming the cmd.exe to utilman.exe. That's all we're doing. So when we go to that uh, accessibility feature, it's basically going to allow us to enable the command prompt at that screen. So we can close this off now and continue to Windows. So let's close it off and click on continue to Windows. If this feature doesn't work here, you need to restart Windows completely. But it did work for me, so it's OK. But if it doesn't, restart your Windows completely until you get back to this screen. So if we look down on the bottom right hand side here where accessibility was, when we click on accessibility, it's going to open up our command prompt instead because we renamed it and changed it. So what we're going to do here is open up this here and we're going to type in this command here to change our password. So we need to type in here control and then space user passwords to and then push enter. So let's go ahead and type this out here. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. And then once we type this out and push enter, it's going to open up our account options here so we can reset the password. So once we got this typed out, push enter and you'll see a little box popping up with the user accounts on it. And this is our user account. You need to choose the account that you want to reset the password on. In my case, there's just one and you should see reset password. Now, if this is grayed out, it means that you have a Microsoft account and not a local account. You can only reset the local account this way. So push reset password and you should see there is an area here for putting our new password. Now you can either put a password in here or I'm going to leave it blank and this will remove the password. We can now click OK and that means the password has been removed. We can close off the command prompt window and then we can continue to Windows. If this doesn't work, you can restart. 
and it will do the same thing. So let's now push this little arrow key here. If your pin key pops up here, just push enter and it will allow you to go to your desktop. Mine didn't have that feature. So we're now at the desktop and our password has been removed. So once you've got your password removed, you can then go into your settings here and you can reset your passwords and your details inside here if you wish by going into uh, the sign in options here. So let's go into our accounts here. And what we're going to do is let me expand this a little bit here. And we're going to sign in options. And you can see here we are running a local account. That's important. You cannot reset a Microsoft account password this way. You have to go to the Microsoft website and change your details there to change the password on a Microsoft account. This is a local account. You can then change your password or your PIN or whatever it is on here once you get to that option there in your sign in options. So now we need to put this back to default. So what we're going to do here is just reverse the process. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do this and put this back. Now you've removed your password. So if you sign off here, you're probably thinking that you'll be able to sign off and use the same feature and be able to reset the default settings here and you can't do it. So the command prompt box is still here. As you can see, we can't reset this because it's not set to administrator. So we need to go back into our advanced menu options here. So close all this off and then go back and hold your shift key down. And what we're going to do is go back into the advanced options. So hold the left shift key down and restart your PC and just continue to hold the left shift key down until we get back into the advanced menu here. So it takes a bit of time to boot back up. And there we go. We're back into choose an option. We're going to go back into troubleshoot here and we're going to go to advanced options here and then go back down to your command prompt. Click on command prompt. And then from here, we're going to reverse the process. So we need to go to our Windows directory. In this case, we know it's D. So go into D. We're going to check DIR to make sure that it is Windows. Yes, it is. So now we can put in our first command to reverse the process. So let's navigate back to System32 by doing CD space Windows and push Enter and then CD space System32. And there we are. We're back into system 32 here. So let's do our first command here, which is going to be REN space utilman.exe and then space cmd.exe. And then we need to type the next one, which is REN space utilman1.exe space utilman.exe. So all we've done here now is push enter and we've renamed the files exactly the way they were when before we started. So there should be back to default settings. So we can close all of this off now and continue to Windows. Sometimes you can restart the system depending on what you want to do. I'm just going to continue to Windows here. We should get to the sign in screen. There is no password, so it will log straight back in. And if I sign out quickly and to quickly show you, the feature has gone back to accessibility here. So that is where it should be. So let me just quickly sign out here and I'll show you. And if we go back here and click on this bit here, you can now see to it's use. back to default settings. Make your computer and that's exactly easier where you want to use. leave it. You might be tempted to leave that as CMD, but just put it back to the way it was because that's what it's intended to do. And this is basically how you can reset or remove your password on Windows 11 without any software. Now, of course, it's always advisable to use software. It's a lot more easier. And there's plenty of them out there. If you want to see one of those videos, then let me know in the comments section below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Special shout out to Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Marciera, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Bill's Computer Repair, and Welsh Tony One. I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.